Hey what's up guys this is KD Cloudy and this is your part 1 of the two part review of Sanogen Mod 14.1 for the Nexus 5 based on Android 7.1 Nougat. The reason why I'm splitting this review into two parts is because there are two separate variants for the Nexus 5, the CAF and the AOSP version. And in this video I'll be reviewing the CAF variant and if you don't know what CAF actually is it's basically the kernels, libraries and all of the internal stuff are developed directly by Qualcomm themselves so it provides better optimizations for better performance and stuff like that. So yeah without further ado let's get into the review. Now as I usually do I won't be giving any flashing instructions for this because I already made a dedicated separate video tutorial on how to flash this so you can check that out if you have any problems. So in traditional ROM review style let's start with the new features of CM14.1. Well, to be honest, there's nothing fresh in here. Pretty much all the features you get are built into Android Nougat and you get the usual Cyanogen mod tricks and nothing new. And the usual Cyanogen mod features have gone down in number because because all of the exclusive Cyanogen mod features you, you used to get in the older versions are now baked into Android itself. Like the new notifications, the new paginated quick settings which are customizable, the multi-window which was there in CM13 and app shortcuts and stuff like that which mainly pretty much were there in older versions of Synergy mod. But apart from that you get the usual Synergy mod features buried into the settings uh, like the live display feature which is pretty handy I use that every day and what it does is it just warms out your screen's colors for uh, easy readability at night. I just wish they had toggle for this in the quick settings to replace night mode but it's not there so yeah it's not a big deal. Then you have ambient display which seems to be the only notable new feature over here. Well it's nothing revolutionary or something, it's just a black and white screen which shows your notifications when you raise your device. And I didn't use it that much and when I did use it I saw it impacting the battery life really really badly. Then you get the reconfigurable buttons, the LED notification light which lights up on charging. And you get expanded desktop which gives you a more immersive experience by uh, hiding the status bar and the navigation bar. And also you get the nav customizable status bar option with the quick pull down and all the classic things. And most importantly the Synergy mod theme engine is not present here as of now. In their blog post they have mentioned that it will come in the future builds but it will come out soon enough so you better check out my part to view for that. And lastly this ROM also comes with a bunch of pre-installed apps. And honestly I am not a fan, big fan of these, I just prefer the Google alternatives. And the camera app is just straight up garbage and I don't know what is this. So now let's talk about the performance. Well the speciality of CAF ROMs is how optimized they are it's supposed to deliver a better performance but surprisingly the performance from this rom is really inconsistent and really disappointing it just and it just freezes and becomes un unresponsive quite a lot of times i and i haven't even tried playing games and this is the condition right here and now coming to the battery life that is disappointing as well it's not that great in my regular daily usage i usually get about two and a half hours to three hours of screen on time but in this one I was barely able to cross 90 minutes sometimes and the standby times were absolutely pathetic. Doors wasn't working at all and in idle it just went from 14% to 9% in just 10 minutes without even doing anything without collecting any notifications. That's how bad it is. And now coming to the bugs, well I am happy to report that I hardly found any bugs except for the slow charging problem again but other than that. I didn't find any bug of any sorts which is a good thing. So yeah overall is this daily drivable material? Well yes but not really I wouldn't recommend this ROM. I mean the overall experience with this ROM hasn't been that sweet for me. So if you're deciding to flash it just because it's Synergy mod well you're likely to be disappointed because the main things which make a ROM good are the features, performance and good battery life features well nothing special and it doesn't have themes which is the main selling point of synergy mod performance is bad and battery life is just mediocre so yeah my overall verdict is that well synergy mod a synergy mod so it'll eventually get better for but for now i wouldn't recommend it if you're using a nexus 5 especially this cap version so if you're looking for a good custom nougat rom i'd suggest that you install the aosp hammerhead rom 
far better stability or even the fake nexus rom which is tons of features and great stability as well so yeah that's pretty much it that's been my review for sanity mod 14.1 part 1 so yeah don't forget to subscribe for my second part of the cm 14.1 review and that wraps it up thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers this is a production